everybody okay as you see I finally did an intro for my videos um, I realized that people don't really know too much about me and where I came from so a brief history um, I'm a retired letter carrier I retired last year um, in April a little bit early because um, I had knee surgery and I was never able to go back to letter carrying and felt very strongly that I needed to just take that early retirement and go on to find a new life. Um, and so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, also, um, a very important part of my past is being a volunteer for Israel. I've been to Israel four times and the last two times I went was as a volunteer doing work on military bases and that's probably the highlight of my life up to this point. I had kind of a rough beginning because the day after I bought my vehicle, my oldest daughter passed away. And someday I would like to write a book on what God taught me on my way home from California that year. Uh, but in the meantime, though, I'm trying to find a work camping job. And I have some hope. Um, somebody's going to call me Monday from KOA to do a telephone interview to be a laundry um, camp host person. And also, somebody else called me from Sholo, and it, it depends on if uh, their current camp host can come back. I guess she's got some medical issues, and she's going to be going to the doctor. So he said that they're putting my resume on top, and if she's not coming back, they're going to give me a call. So I have that hope. I, I've applied for a few other ones. Um, I, I put a uh, resume on indeed and also the koa work campers and the regular work campers and been looking every day i know i have to find something very soon i'm really getting nervous about it because i don't know what i'm going to do after this really um next week i'm going to go and get a arizona driver's license and register my vehicle in arizona so i'm going to be a resident of arizona one thing that I've been doing is um, I've been continuing my 2 o'clock Coffee with the King Bible study by myself. And it's been really helping me. I, I didn't realize how little I knew about the Bible until I had my Bible study. And everybody came knew more than I did, it seemed like. Um, I was like, man, I need to study this better. So I've been doing that, you know, and praying a lot. I know God's got a plan. That's one thing about me. I totally... Um, I totally believe in God and Jesus Christ is my Savior, and I know He's got my back. He's proved that to me time and time again. I really need to um, up my YouTube channel. It would be a great blessing to me if I could get enough subscribers so I could monetize my channel and um, make a little extra money that way also. Um... I see Caravan Carolyn, she's got like 46,000 subscribers and she makes a lot of money on her YouTube channel. And I, that would be a miracle if I ever got that many, but she also, that also comes with a lot of problems I see. I don't know if I can handle all that trolling and people doing videos about you. And she said in her last video that somebody taped her smoking. I'm like, so. I smoke. You want to take me smoking and do a YouTube channel about it? That's so funny. You know, what is wrong with people? So I'm going to try to do more videos and try to think of other things to uh, make videos about. Um, right now I'm in Ehrenberg, close to where I was camped last year. And I was wandering around and I found my old camp spot with my butterfly and my cross and a dove that I had done with the rocks. So that was kind of cool to see if they were still there. Um, maybe I'll start adding some... Bible studies to my videos that'd be kind of cool I've been really really getting into that it's so comforting the word of God is just quick and powerful and sharper than any twedged sword and it just really gets into your heart sometimes God just speaks right to your heart when you're reading his word and you can feel his presence and that's so special so I'd like to ask everybody if you could please pray for me so that I could find a job and find my new forever home because um, I need something to do. I need a new life here. I can't go on like this. And um, it's it's already February. 
today's the last day of January, so February, March, and I know how fast it gets hot up in here because I was here last year and I didn't leave the area until the end of May and it was already in the hundreds, you know, so I I have to do something very soon. And I, and I know that God's got my back and I would just appreciate all your prayers and any suggestions you have of how I can improve my videos. Um, God bless your hearts. Thank you for watching and for putting up with me this long. Hey God everybody, so I'm out here exploring um, in Ehrenberg and I've come across my old camping spot from last year and look my butterfly's still there. And the dove and the cross. They're all still here. Oh that's cool.